Previously on Metopia Daytime. Uh-oh, someone turned off the lights and I'm the only one there. Who turned the lights off, I say? Where did everybody go? Look to the left, look to the right, let's look to the left. Is anyone there? Amy and Chan Chan. You're pretty laid back, Chan Chan. Huh? Really? Well, you always dip into the team's HP bananas. That's because I need to heal. And you hide behind your teammates. That's because I don't want to get hurt. I envy you. Oh, I just noticed you're wearing a new outfit, says Chan Chan. You look pretty good. I know, right? The compliments went down well. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Gameplays Edition of Metopia. Happy Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to, uh, that anybody out there who has a girlfriend or a boyfriend, make this day worth special by watching this episode as we continue to trudge through the land of Peculia in the... As we try to find Dr. Alphys' friend, Toby. So we are continuing to make our way towards... Um, an alternate dimension to a place that sort of does look like the Dark Lord's Castle. Uh, and we got a couple more locations on the map before we uh, possibly have our boss battle. So we're going to continue. We're going to switch the party around. Let's bring Anya in. Let's bring... Uh... Alicia in, and let's bring Amy out, Kristen, and I think uh, this should be the way to go. This will be the way to go for uh, today's episode. So, as you can see, we spent an entire episode trying to clear this location on the map. And there were multiple branching paths, but we all got it done in one episode, which leaves this one uh, to go before we reach this... The swirling portal which will take us to um, another area that we couldn't access before outside new kinds of enemies here a cursed armor a and b let's bring out let's uh, uncheck the auto battle and let's move Okay, Kristen's gonna start with a sneak attack. Anya did a fire attack that yielded 112. But that actually took a lot of damage. It took a lot from the uh, HP meter of those enemies. Got one of them defeated. that sneak attack after all. Only 780 experience points, but we do get a new kind of grub, flaming chili soup and 640 gold. So you can assume, I could, I, I, I would assume that each of those armors are, probably have 120 damage. Probably, around the, that's probably near the ballpark. Mega Lightning! Alright. Spin Slash. Mm. 
Naughty Pitchfork. There you go. And once again, Kristen didn't need to use the full sneak attack as we get two li roast lizard tails, fragrant tea, and 1,410 gold. And we got a cutscene. Okay, Kristen is singing hum diddly dee da dee dee dee. What on earth are you singing, I say? I wrote it myself. It's a blend of jazz and avant-garde funk. Cool, huh? There's something about it. I've heard it before. But I just made it up. Ooh. It sounds just like bread baking. <laughs> Never knew bread was so jazzy. <laughs> All right, peach jellies and slorm. I don't think we've seen that enemy before, but. Attacks like that that Kristen did, just pulling the whip out and just going right across the board. <laughs> or you can do a mega fire and obliterate everybody, just like what Anya did. Slime jelly and 810 gold. Alright, so no branching paths, everything was linear. Emergency. Who's sick? Isaiah. Alright. Kristen and Anya and Amy and Chan Chan. Level 9 between Anya and Kristen. Learned Avenge together. And Christian and Amy, level 8. Learned Charity together. On our roulette wheel, we have, hmm, it's one-fourth, obviously you could tell. We can get snow milk, and we can get a maid gown as well. The Jolly John tickets are budget, so I don't know if I'd want to, I don't, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't be, uh, hmm, I wouldn't mind it, but we're going to get the So I wasn't too crazy about landing on the budget Jolly John tickets, but thankfully we landed in the yellow area to get a maid gown, which would be for Genevieve. And this maid gown will raise her defense from 105 to 111. like to, to try out our new grub. Flaming Chili Soup. This, the clues in the name, this chili is hot, hot, hot for defense. Jenny. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's set out and wrap up this portion of the game by entering this portal and finally reaching our destination with the exclamation mark.
K. Toby, where are you? It's Mommy. You have to come home. <sighs> Guess he's not here, huh? Oh, no! Dr. Alphys. Dr. Alphys, Wolf of the Wisp. That's a tongue full. Well, and there's Toby right there. Man's best friend. And we have to defeat him in order to restore order. Seventy-one damage. Mega fire from Anya will deal ninety-nine. Well, since this creature, well, this enemy has eyes, I think it's time to bring out the Dark Eye Slash once again. It's always a very effective attack. Two hundred damage. Whoa, he gained 108 back. He can heal himself. Two hundred one. So we have to take advantage of while he while he has his guard down. Two hundred and thirty. One sixty seven on that sneak attack. Mega fire one forty one. Another dark eye slash. He's down to one fourth. Two forty seven plus ninety one. That's over three hundred damage altogether. Energy drain forty five. His guard is back up. There we go. Growing closer between Elysia and Kristen. Pincer! This one should do it! Nicely taken care of. Anya can go and rest and recuperate once we get back into the inn as we get a new grub, very rare doggy donut, two stars. So we got a hobgob donut and we also now have a doggy donut. Arrgh, what a kerfuffle, but at least we got Toby back safely. Speaking of luck, could we have that jewel? Oh yes, of course, here you go. We got the right eye jewel, which means we got all four jewels, which, which will open up the door to the skyscraper. Okay. Finally! We've managed to find all four jewels! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Now we can get into the skyscraper. Suddenly, I feel a bit giddy. Prepare yourselves, team.
it's time for a climb. Okay, Bust and me have leveled up to level 16 and learned share together. So, we're gonna go rearrange the party. We're gonna have Dawn room in with me. Alright, there we go. Chan Chan's now paired with Jenny. Amy's paired with Elysia. Kristen is paired with Bust. Anya with the ailing Isaiah. And me and Dawn. Let's go try out. Let's go feed some food and try out the doggy donut. Warm and gentle, just like a dog. Smells a lot better, though. For HP and speed. Who will get it? Anya, what do you think of this? Yes! There you go. Plus 19 and I, on HP and plus 16 on speed, I believe. I'll give myself some fragrant tea, maybe a couple of those. Now I'm plus 25 on magic. Warrior doesn't have a lot of magic, though, but I'd like to get that up as high as I can before um, before the battle with the dark, the darker lord. I know Amy, for a cat, her magic naturally is much lower than the warrior's. Tenderize Tartare. Kristen, what do you think of this? You haven't tried this yet. Good. Roast Lizard Tail for attack and defense. Bust, you have not tried that one yet. Okay. Alright. We're gonna set out. I'm not gonna bother to check back at the inn. I'm um, not the inn. Alright. You've used food to boost magic by 25 or more. What I meant was, I wasn't planning to take a look at the arcade. I do, because I do want to go back into the Traveler's Hub and complete some other missions, whatever is there remaining in in the place. Sigh. You want to know where Toby is? He's safe at home. The incident must have really hit him hard. So we have two quests that we have not yet taken. We've uh, ignored my friend Pat, the mayor of Greenhorn, for a while. So let's take this quest and set up the plot for our next episode. The dubious mayor Pat. Oh, um, do you have a moment? This is so lately, it's like this. The kingdom of Greenhorn is in another spot of bother. Monsters that look like mice have been running amok. And, um, well, the king has only gone and told me to sort it out. I mean, as if I could do anything about it. So I came here in search of help. You know I'm asking a lot, but I beg you, please save Greenhorn. Okay, let's accept this challenge for three pieces of cheesecake. Oh, thank you, thank you. All I can do is tell you where we think the monsters come from. It seems their lair is in hidden in some hidden tower. Please, you have to save me, um, I mean the kingdom. Alright, let's get out of here. So we have to go back to Season 1 location. Greenhorn, and that will be... The basis for tomorrow's episode of the Gameplays edition of Miitopia Daytime. So, thank you for watching, and, hope, and I hope that you can join me 
tomorrow and wrapping up the week.